Hi, dear student. Today we will perform acrolein test. Why this acrolein test is performed in uh, BS level? Because this test is used to identify pure glycerol or glycerol containing liquid. If we have a, a glycerol in a, our sample or glycerol containing liquid, this test will be positive. Almost all the lipids contain glycerol uh, with the exception of uh, glycolipid. So uh, what are the requirements of this test? Uh, we should have uh, solid potassium hydrogen sulfate or sulfuric acid. Both are dehydrating agent. They uh, dehydrate the glycerol and uh, it will produce acrolein which gives pungent smell. So pure glycerol or glycerol containing lipid, uh, test tube, test tube stand, test tube holder, distal water, pipette with sucker, beaker, and graduated slider. What is the procedure of your test? Take two neat and clean test tube and label them T, mean test sample, and C, mean negative control. Uh, then add uh, three drop of distal water in the uh, test tube uh, uh, of a negative control and three drop of glycerol or glycerol containing lipid in test tube T with the help of pipette. Then add a pinch of solid potassium hydrogen sulfate or uh, one or uh, few drops of sulfuric acid in test tube and mix well then heat strongly over a small flame. Then you will see the test tube T, T which contains less roll, uh, will produce pungent smell. Uh, and uh, test tube which contain negative control mean distal water, it will never give any smell. So, uh, what is the principle of uh, this test? Uh, actually, the glass roll containing lipid contain uh, some more time to produce acrolein. What happened? This is our glycerol and this potassium hydrogen sulfate are a concentrated sulfuric acid dehydrate this glycerol and uh, produce an aldehyde which is known as acrolein with the uh, production of uh, two molecules of water. This acrolein gave a pungent smell uh, and uh, which shows uh, this test will be positive for glycerol or glycerol containing lipid. What are the questions uh, which uh, a teacher can ask you? Perform acrolein test for given solution of glycerol and gives inference that the principle of this, which I have already told you. What is the application of acrolein test? This is to identify glycerol or glycerol containing lipids. Give its procedure and result. What is the procedure and principle of acrolein test? Uh, give its influence, name, the origin and function of each chemical used in the test, uh, uh, which ha I have already told you. Uh, then what is the uh, performance of this test? You have taken a neat and clean uh, test tube. You have added some oil in it or glass roll in it. Then you have added uh, few drops of a sulfuric acid in it. Here you have, I already have oil in this test tube. Then you have added few drops or one ml of sulfuric acid in it. Then you have heated it on flame. It will produce pungent smell. Why? Because acrolein get dehydrated in the presence of sulfuric acid and uh, potassium hydrogen sulfate. This sulfuric acid or potassium, hydro, uh, potassium hydrogen sulfate will dehydrate the glass roll or oil. So it will produce acrolein which gives a pungent smell. So this pungent smell indicates the given sample contain either glass roll and glass roll containing lipid. Here you can see uh, the student also uh, smell that uh, bad smell, which is pungent smell or uh, burning smell to the nose. And uh, this uh, test uh, indicates this test tube contain uh, glass roll or glass roll containing lipids. That's all. If you like that uh, video, then uh, subscribe that channel. Thank you all.